How do I greet a cat? Whether you're going to a friend's house, visiting family, or stopping by your local shelter, chances are at some point you're going to run into a cat you're not familiar with. And you may have noticed, not all cats are fond of strangers. That's because cats spend a lot of time in their personal territory, so they tend to become protective over their space, and their owners too, of course. Luckily, all you have to do to earn a cat's trust is learn their language. So I put together a few tips that could help you win the favor of just about any cat. But of course, I don't recommend walking up to just any cat with these tips. After all, stray cats can be aggressive and unpredictable. You never know. But next time you go to a friend or family member's house, you can win over their cat with these four easy steps. It might take a little patience, but that's one thing we love about our feline friends. You have to earn their trust. But once you do, you've got a friend for life. So let's jump right in. The first thing to keep in mind when meeting a new cat is to allow the cat to set the pace. Cats typically want to make their own judgments about you before you approach them. So walking straight up to them before they have a moment to size you up can be pretty off-putting to them. It could even scare them and push them to become defensive or aggressive. That's why it's important to allow the cat to set the terms and come to you if they want or stay away if they want. Then, when the cat finally comes closer, crouch down to their level. This can make the cat feel more comfortable. Then, once you've caught their attention, use soft glances. Looking at a cat too intently is usually interpreted as a sign of aggression in the cat world. So if you're staring at them the entire time you're trying to win their affection, it could have the opposite effect you want. Instead, try looking away from them and talking to someone, or doing something else for a minute. About every 20 seconds, give the cat a glance with a soft look to let them know you're friendly and interested in them. This can show them that you want to get to know them, but aren't looking for any trouble. Then, once you have the cat's interest, you can solidify your bond with the secret cat handshake. Of course, cats don't shake hands like humans, but they have their own gesture for a casual meeting, a nose touch. When cats meet each other, they'll sniff each other's noses. That's pretty cute, almost like a little nose kiss. But surely you don't want to put your nose that close to a cat's face, especially if they're not familiar with you. Instead, you can hold out your pointer finger for them. Then, the cat can nuzzle their nose against your finger, imitating the cat handshake. And if they do this, it could mean they're starting to trust you. But even if you do get a handshake, don't go in for a pet just yet, because you'll want to play hard to get. Cats are pretty finicky creatures, which means even if they've said hello to you, they may not be ready to jump right into a belly rub. So once you get the nose touch, you want to back off a little bit slowly. See what the cat does when you withdraw a bit. If they walk away from you, they probably don't feel up to socializing at the moment and would prefer to be left alone. If they come up to you and rub against your leg, you're pretty much in the inner circle. Try putting them on their head and under their chin first, because that's what cats usually prefer. And if they let you, you've got yourself a new friend. With all these tricks up your sleeve, you'll be able to grow a deep, meaningful bond with just about any cat you come across, and you'll know how to make any cat feel safe and happy around you. It's a win for everyone. I hope this information helps you make tons of feline friends. For more fun tips like this, subscribe to Ultimate Pet Nutrition and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.